Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. They're in the Caribbean, north, northwest of uh, Jamaica. There was a magnitude 7.7 .7 earthquake. No tsunami warning. You don't have to worry about that, I guess. On the USGS felt report page, 1,077 people filled out um, a felt report. Yeah, they felt it there in Jamaica. Um, one report says hope for no tsunami. Another one said felt the tremors. Swimming pool water shaken out of pool. Building shaking pipes broke. People evacuated outside. Another one there on the island of Jamaica. It says have felt several earthquakes including Alaska in 1964. San Francisco 1987 was surprised to feel this one. It lasted long enough to verify as an earthquake rather than a truck or wind or cat jumping on the bed. Now they were 170 kilometers southeast from the center of the earthquake. So that's about 106 miles from where the earthquake occurred. 214 kilometers said the small tremor lasted about 15 seconds. That would be 133 miles. Cayman Islands, west of where this earthquake occurred, said it lasted about three minutes. Very strong tremor. Water gushing out of swimming pool and cistern. Grand Cayman, Cayman Islands. Like I said, I've talked about this area. This is the deepest trough and has the potential for a tsunami. Here we have Jamaica and the Cayman Islands. Supposedly the Cayman Islands were farther from the earthquake and I was wondering which direction, which part of the fault line probably moved. Just speculating, but because it was so much stronger over here, I would say, yeah, the northern part of the fault moved. The first wave of the earthquake came in from the north, slightly east. Tension was applied going south maybe a little bit east you can see we got the fault line which dipped um, going towards oh, probably the west now this fault line if in fact it did have a, uh, a slip going towards the west um, expect some strong earthquakes later down the road in Guatemala I've talked about this area how this fault line curves around goes through Guatemala meets up with this other fault line here we have the North American plate the Caribbean plate yeah you can see how the northern section moves towards the west and the bottom section moves towards the east so because the earthquake was between these two fault zones yeah this is uh, the mid Cayman spreading center yeah we got spreading going on you can definitely say here every action will have a reaction again the Cayman trough is one of the deepest troughs yeah this thing is amazingly deep it's about three and a half miles deep down there and there's smokers even though there's no volcanic activity right now through this area in the past there was evidently people even in Florida reported feeling the shaking this earthquake occurred at about 2:10 uh, p.m. today, Tuesday, January 28th, 2020. Where in Florida was it reported? Miami, Florida. And I don't know if it's true, but according to Weather Nation, some of the high rises were evacuated there. If you live there, was is that true? Now this fault zone runs into the Montagua fault zone. I'm not going to try and pronounce this whole thing, and then. It, um, comes down here into the middle American mega thrust. This is the area. This is the fault zone That's responsible for all the large earthquakes that they have up in this area um, Be it Guatemala um, Most of them are in Guatemala Honduras Belize um, Yeah, and some here um, in Mexico Nicaragua not so much Nicaragua, but mostly up here in Guatemala so because this earthquake was right along here the Cayman trough the energy the fault zone moved towards the west I would expect uh, you know eventually who knows when but they'll probably have a large earthquake down in this area
More recently, there recently was a magnitude 6.1, 10 kilometers in depth. You can see how that energy is transferring. Uh, there was a magnitude 4.9, same depth. Um, a 4.7, a 3.9, and a 4.5. Yeah, most of them are down here. And yeah, guess where it's going. On Twitter, they're reporting that most recent earthquake actually has a magnitude 6.5, not a 6.1. Well, we know that USGS likes to downgrade these earthquakes. Along with the broken water lines in Jamaica, they got sinkholes. I'll give you a link to this uh, Twitter video. More videos of the water sloshing out of the pool and hitting the coast. They are really lucky there wasn't a tsunami. Here we have an inlet and you can see how the waves just really stirred up the sediment. When the earthquake occurred, this whole shelf was rocking sideways back and forth. This fella came over and was trying to hold it up. And I'll show you here what happened. Yeah, it all came crashing down. He was lucky he wasn't injured. There's a lot of glass bottles that were on that counter. They probably had... Um, you know, a type of um, effect where the sand turned into quicksand blowholes. You can see sand all around this one hole here. Probably a blowhole because the uh, bricks for the sidewalk were literally blown out. There was actually several areas where you can see um, it formed blowholes. Where some of the boats were docked, they got a lot of damage to the docks. Notice this here, how the soil just, yeah, fell in. Yeah, the uh, pilings, I don't know if they're wood or cement, yeah, they collapsed. Water being rocked out of the water storage tanks. You know, it was going back and forth. So first we had this water tank coming out on the right-hand side. And then the water came out of the other storage tank on the left, on the uh, right-hand side should say first the left hand side then the right hand side here's a still capture of the video showing it sloshing out on the uh, left hand side water um, storage tank and it continued back and forth back and forth the water was forced out so that's all I have for you right now um, hopefully no one got hurt from what happened there in Jamaica and the Cayman Islands looks like the Cayman Islands got the worst of it um, I haven't seen anything really significant from Jamaica. But you need to have a plan in case there is a large earthquake to evacuate straight up in some sort of sturdy building that may still be standing after a large earthquake. Uh, please stay safe. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you very much for all your support. I'm on Patreon. I'm also on Twitter. Um, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.